Hello. Well, today is my last video on uh, the Friday the 13th franchise. Just want to give some final, you know, last sort of thoughts, comments, what have you. Um, again, I like this franchise. I like it quite a bit. I think it's a, an incredible franchise. Um, I know that I didn't... Uh, Last time I, or last few times, there are some I didn't really talk about much about the characters, such as um, uh, <clears throat> the characters of in Freddy vs. Jason. You know, because uh, outside of uh, Jason and Freddy, there aren't too many uh, all that interesting characters. You're really there to see more of the. Uh, these two iconic horror villains go at it. And along the way, there are people who get killed. You know, Jason kills people for Freddy, and then he keeps going on and killing, and Freddy doesn't really get to kill as many people as he would like. Um, but, you know, there's uh, the character of Lori, uh, played by Monica Keenan, and Jason Ritter playing uh, Will, Again, they do a fine job, but, uh, you know, I guess the interesting aspect is uh, Will was put into, like, a uh, psychiatric uh, place, mental ward, whatever you want to call it, and, uh, yeah, they all uh, were drugged and took something that helped it so they couldn't dream. So, which helped them not uh, ever see Freddy, you know, which is good. Um, Jason X, you know, uh, again, I also said there wasn't really any interesting um, characters, which is sort of true, though. Brodsky uh, was one of the uh, big uh, characters in the film, you know. He's a, uh, you know, kind of like the, big, kind of a, like a military guy, type guy. Uh, he has like a little unit who goes to try and kill Jason, but they all get killed off. He's wounded, but doesn't die, and essentially lives towards the end of the film. Uh, or, oh, spoiler, you know, it, it looks like he dies coming down to Earth. Or Earth 2, I should say, and, uh, you know, uh, coming in with Jason in front of him. So, you know, going into the Earth's atmosphere, it's sort of like burning up and all. Um, yeah, it's like he's, uh, you know, he he's a fine character in Jason X, but unfortunately he is sort of, uh, doesn't have as much screen time as some of the other characters, and, I think he was a very interesting character, aside, of course, Jason. Uh, but, yeah. Um, and I know my Friday the 13th 4 video is quite long. Um, again, I really love that film. All right. Well, I still love that film. But I kind of thought, you know, with my personal favorite one, I also just see as the best. Kind of like the culmination of the first four films. The last one, that four, the fourth one being final chapter, and if you look at it as being the last installment, it actually does feel like it, though. So, of course, they continued because, you know, the fourth movie made movie, or money. Yeah, it made movie. Yeah. It made it made money, so if anything makes money, it needs to have a sequel, pretty much. Um, and they already had four movies, so why not continue to make another one? and More, even though Part 4 is the final chapter, and then later there's Part 9, called The Final Friday. Uh, but then they have uh, three more movies <laughs> to follow, and, and I'm sure there will be more in the future. But as of now, they just have 12. And it's unfortunate that they just, you know, they this whole lawsuit's 
thing that happened uh, couldn't have happened until you know the thirteenth film was released. I mean, not that that should be the last film of the franchise, but you know, at least you know have thirteen movies. Let them have thirteen, and then there you go. And then you have your little uh, dispute or whatever. But that, I guess that's just life. Um, today, I kind of just want to talk about some of the other stuff. Like, um, this is a, a part of that uh, Shout Factory Scream Factory collection uh, that I have. I'll show you the bonus discs. And, uh, here's the discs, one and two. This disc has a special feature that... Um, they removed for the third film to put it here, which is the, uh, which is like a story like the hockey mask and how it's an iconic uh, part of this franchise. And I was a bit surprised when I first saw, got this and was watching all the movies, watching the special features, and how that wasn't on there. And I'm like, well, maybe it'll be on any of the bonus material, and it it was. So I was like, it's not like they, you know cut that for some reason um, but yeah on this disc you know they have like a lot of or on these like uh, first eight films uh, this one this first disc it's a lot of the archival uh, special features like on the DVDs um, the first eight DVD box set that was ever done with Friday the 13th you know, that bonus disc, which was later on the other 12 film uh, uh, initial release box set, um, that DVD was there, but now you have it on Blu-ray. They have all the special features on there, on the first disc, and they have some more special features of the first eight films here, and then on, then on another page... After you have like Freddy vs. Jason, a bunch of stuff there that wasn't included on the DV uh, the Blu-ray releases, DVD releases of that movie, and also the same with the Friday the Thirteenth reboot. So they have some more stuff there. You know they don't really have anything new for parts ten or nine, nine or ten. Um, basically, get this box set. Um, those movies have, you know, they have their own uh, sort of special stuff on those on those discs, respectively. So, you know, they I guess they didn't think they had any more stuff to add or not include on those specific discs for those movies. Uh, so, first eight, and then. 11 and 12, they have some special stuff here, um, which is pretty cool. Um, and I also wanted just to just mention um, documentaries. Uh, here's was the first uh, documentary, big documentary that they had. Um, oh, also, I forgot to mention or show this. Alice at the end of the first film, in the canoe. That was part of the reason I uh, opened that, but, uh, but that's fine. But yeah, this was, uh, his name was Jason, um, this film came out in 2000, or this documentary came out in 2009, uh, in time for the, uh, 2008 it says, though, so I got it in 2009, uh, not long after seeing the Friday the 13th reboot, um, saw it in, like, uh, I believe Best Buy, 
and uh, yeah. So for 30 years, of Friday the 13th, and this had like a ticket for the uh, for, uh, you know the reboot, uh, Friday the 13th, and uh, you know uh, has two discs. Um, you know the first disc. Uh, obviously the documentary, then there's a extended interviews to all those who played Jason Voorhees, which is which is really cool, um, honestly. Um, some of the stuff uh, that was said in some of these interviews are then repurposed for the next documentary I'm going to talk about. Um, some of the stuff there, and like some more extended stuff that was not at all included on this in this own documentary, or even some of the special features, like they cut some stuff out. Um, because the documentary here is 90 minutes, goes through the various films that has ever happened in the franchise, and then the second disc has more interviews with, like, with directors and stories from Camp Blood, interviews with screenwriters. Camp Crystal Lake Survival God Guide. Uh, Jason takes Comic Cons from fan films Friday the Thirteenth in four minutes. Um, and if you're a fan of uh, of uh, James Rolfe, uh, angry video game nerd, there's an edited version of the uh, Friday the Thirteenth episode on this, um, which is really cool. So yeah, this was actually a very good documentary, though, but in recent years, people don't seem to enjoy it as much, and that's because, like, not too long after this, there was, like, a four-hour documentary about the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise, Never Sleep Again. I actually have never seen it. I don't own it, so, you know, I don't know, uh, you know, what that's about. Um, other than, you know, talks about all the films in that franchise. Um, so, because of that, you know, while for a moment this was really seen as excellent documentary of, like, an overall retrospect of the franchise, getting the various people who have worked on it, played Jason, Voorhees, directors, writers, producers, so on and so forth, as well as, like, other non-related people to the franchise, like Seth Green, uh, 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 for instance, you know, like, the people who are just fans of the franchise, uh, come in and talk about it, and, uh, you know, that's really cool also, but, uh, unfortunately because of that four-hour documentary, you know, it's like, well, this isn't as great anymore, because it's like, yeah, you have special features and stuff, and, you know, four hours worth of bonus material, combined with the 90 minutes, so it's like, I guess, in a way, it's like, like five and a half hours of, stu of stuff, but, you know, in terms of documentary length, it pales in comparison. So, not long after, Crystal Lake Memories, The Complete History of Friday the 13th. Um, so this is like seven and a half hours long or so, like seven, seven and a half or so. Um, two discs, two Blu-rays, two DVDs. Um, Crystal Lake Memories is the name of the book that covers the first 11 films. It's written before the 2009 reboot happened, so nobody associated with that film was ever interviewed for that book. Um, but uh, they did a brand new documentary and a lot of the stuff from, you know, the that was sort of like not included with those, uh, with the people in the, this, uh, the first documentary is included here. You know, and of course, they do get new people and talk about, about them, like all those who were involved, as many as they could get. 
Um, the first one they had like a hose, you know, hosted by Tom Sweeney, who you know did the effects for the first and fourth film, and uh, this one is uh, done uh, hosted by Corey Feldman, played Tommy Jarvis, and this is an incredible documentary. Um, it's fantastic. Um, To anybody who loves this franchise but has never seen this, uh, I would recommend it. I think it's an excellent uh, companion piece. Like anytime you have watched the all the films, watched all the various bonus features that there are, if you're interested in that sort of thing, get this documentary if you haven't, and it is worth it. You know, it is it it's split up on two discs, so half of it is on one. And the rest is on the second, so you don't you don't you don't have to go to one sitting, watch it. You know, it's like over three hours or so on each disc. Um, you know, it's it's a fantastic, um, just a fantastic uh, documentary, and it's from the people who made uh, Never Sleep a Sleep Again documentary that they made this. Um, and of course, you know, all 12 films are discussed and talked about and the impact of the franchise and Jason and all that stuff is discussed here in more depth. Um, and I think, uh, his name was Jason, you know, that 30 year retrospect is an excellent documentary to have also. I mean, even for also the special features that are there, it's really cool. Both are great. Um, love both. Um, yeah. And of course, love this franchise. Um, again, Just what it's on top here. It's a little dusty. side here. I've already shown that before, but yeah. This is a great set. Uh, these documentaries, in addition, it's excellent. Um, of course, this is still very, fairly expensive, so if you can't get that set, um, the other uh, tin one is, uh, is actually cheaper now. You can find it. Um, I think it's out of print, honestly, um, I've heard, but also it goes cheaper than, uh, than this set, you know, obviously people would no doubt want people to buy their, uh, old set, especially if they have, uh, this one, so... Yeah, if you find it at a reasonable price, if you're unable to get this set now, get it. Um, um, part 9 may be a bit disappointing in that, you know, you don't get to have the uh, unrated version, but it's fine, I guess, if you're... If you enjoy that film, you get the theatrical cut, which is unfortunate, though, of course. For some movies, there's parts like uh, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, and 9, and 10 are all on one disc only, and 
you know, you got to select which film you want to watch. Um, and then those features and stuff, which is a bit unfortunate, but, you know, that's just how it is sometimes uh, with sets like that. Thankfully, it's not the case here. Great set. Uh, and these are some great documentaries. Um, if you're able to get this set, I would, I would uh, recommend it. I would suggest it, but uh, understandably, you know, pricing and all that, you do have to consider certain things. You know, don't just buy it just willy nilly just because you want to have it. You know, if you don't have the money, don't get it. You know, uh, especially if you're a fan of this franchise, um, definitely. Definitely get it. If you've never seen these films, um, perhaps get these, I would say. Um, very good quality. Um, the various things, pro wrongs, problems with the disc, bleh, I believe are uh, are all fine now. They're not I'm sure about this point. Any and all new uh, shipments have all fixed stuff for 3, 9, and 10, so no worries there. Um, but then again, if you happen to have a defective disc in that something isn't working properly or something's missing of sorts, um, if you contact Shout Factory, they will no doubt uh, send you replacement disc as fast as possible. Uh, Shout Factory is a great company. Uh, they're sort of like a Criterion um, and other home uh, media uh, companies that specialize in physical media, <clears throat> Arrow, Kino, and others of the sort. They're 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 all great companies. Shout Factory, Screen Factory, did a great job with this set. Um, films look and sound great. Uh, special features are great. I'm glad that they had the bonus disc DVD material of the first uh, eight film box set that was included in the first Blu-ray release of all the films together and it was just a DVD they had ported all those to Blu-ray um, you know that's great uh, so yeah th th this uh, you know, this was all fun for me to go through all these movies again, one by one, talk about them, say what I like about them, and even some of the ones I think are weaker entries. Um, this was just fun, and uh, I'm glad to have been able to do this. Uh, it's something I've wanted to do for a while, and finally been able to uh, just dedicate enough time to finally get it all done. And, uh, I thank you very much for watching all these videos. Um, this was fun. Uh, hope you had fun. Hope you were, you know, you know. Comment in the comment section. Um, you know, interactions are always interesting, and uh, I always find uh, I always enjoy uh, hearing what people have to say about movies I talk about. Um, you know, sometimes people enjoy something more than I do. Some people don't enjoy something that I enjoy. Um, and it's always interesting to hear uh, people's thoughts on um, on films. Um, so yeah, thank you all for uh, coming along with me as I went through all these movies. Um, yeah. Uh, what more is there to say other than... Uh, you know, I love Friday the 13th. Uh, it's a great franchise. And I hope to see more uh, new films in the future. Um, yeah. So, um, until next time, uh, I hope all of you will have a great day, great weekend, and a great week. And I'll see you all next time.